Hey guys, welcome back to more Fallout 3, and let's hear what Dad has to say. Let's go in order, entry 5. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a vault -like facility, after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex's sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex's social preservation program and his work on something called GET, the Garden of Eden creation kit. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. I'm no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, holotapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of Braun's that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Alright, so our daddy's gone after Vault 112, was it? Something like that. So, uh, um, where is that exactly? Jeez, I have the volume sold out from listening to that holotape. <laughs> The sound of the door slamming scared the shit out of me. Alright. Let's just skedaddle. No need to linger in the Jefferson Memorial. Hopefully there's nothing scary out here. Temple of the Union. That's the place where the slaves are. Canterbury Commons. Hmm. It's amazing how many places there are in here. <laughs> wow! That quest is leading me to the middle of nowhere. But I need to go to Megaton first. Giddy up, Buttercup. Only 16,000. Yeah. Wait, is that a real. You need something? Robot horsey? For the mayor or the sheriff? I I'm looking for Moira. That's who I'm looking for. Moira! Where are you? You're over here. Are you open yet? I have a feeling you're not. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Two hours should do it. Moira! I'm back, Moira! 
Any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? Ancient underwater civilization. Uh, I asked a couple of people. Well, if it's all you could find out, I guess it'll have to do. So, what did they say? According to them, it was all set up by one upper deck resident. Those tough upper deck folk built the whole place from the ground up. I guess I heard one story that was plausible. Let's go with it. Um. No. Even I'm not sure I can believe that, and I'm downright gullible. Or, so I'm told. But I guess if that's what they said, what else is there to go on? You look oh, mad well. now. Oh, still, for your help, have a few of these. They may help out next time you need to talk to a few folks. Mintets. Lovely. I'm ready to continue. I'm to do a section on working with old computer electronics. So there's some research to be done in the old Robco production facility. Also, there used to be a big library out there. Imagine a whole building full of books. I'll need you to gather information there for me. And that'll be it for the last chapter. So, what'll it be? Hmm. Um, architecture library. Oh, that sure saved me a lot of time. But I bet their book wouldn't have anything about exploding mole rats, would it? No. Books are where the old world kept its knowledge. And libraries are where it kept the books. And there's supposed to be one in Arlington. See if it's still there, and if you can download records from its computer. Information dumps like those would be invaluable for rebuilding humanity. Okay. Great. The library should be an old... Blah, if you can't blah. get those, then even the card catalog would be useful. Any little piece of it. All right. I don't really have anything to sell to him. Rem her. Her. Sorry. Her. Don't try it. Oh, I hate you so much, mercenary. Not even kidding. Um. What hmm. are you doing? I'm not doing anything, little girl. None that you have to be concerned about. So yeah, holy crap, that's a long way to go. Um. I'm gonna go find a bed. Cause uh. Yeah. This is not how I want to go out with, so I'm going to go find a bed, sleep, and then I'll meet you back here in Megaton. Alright guys, we haven't seen this place in a while. Yes, this is Vault 101. Oh yeah. I am so not going in there again. But um, I decided just to come back here instead of back to Megaton, like I said I would, because... Well, it's technically a little bit closer, isn't it? Yeah. Wait. Which way am I supposed to be going? I have to get back onto that road thing. I have to get around these rocks. Oh, so let's go about doing that. Alright. And there's some stuff around here. Gonna get out the friggin' hunting rifle since I'm not too interested in wasting bullets on something that doesn't approach me too- ah, Oh my god! What are you? What are you? Robo Rain? What the fuck are you? Are you running away? That's why. Freaking hell, Rat Scorpion. Rat Scorpion, however, takes a lot of bullets. Freaking thing still shooting at me. No, go away. Go. Oh, no, don't double reload. Thank you. Scorpion poison gland and you. Yes. What the hell are you? Why did you start shooting at me like that? I think 
guess I can take all oh fuck. I'm just one over encumbered, so just munching. Should help, I need to munch anyways. So low on health. Alright. What are you? Protectron? Protectron frenzied! these robots all over the place and why are they like so offensive? I don't get it. Who put these robots out here? Who? I demand to know. So whereabouts are we? Not that far. Well, with all these interruptions, how could I get far? Hidden list! No! That looks like a super mutant, actually. Wow, look at this landscape. Hi, mole rat. Mole rat meat. Something... yeah. Thought I heard a creepy crawly behind me. Rat scorpions are so tough. What the hell? Not tough as in, like... They hurt too much, or they take so many bullets, which is why I'm using the freaking hunting rifle. So I don't care for this gun. So I'd rather waste its ammo on stupid shit like rat scorpions and mole rats. Ow. Okay, you know that you've put me off my track that much, rat scorpion. Thank you very much. I hear something else. Well, I don't sense it. <sighs> Alright, another red blip. Where, who, and what, where? Mole rat. Don't really care for mole rats. Hey, there's a house! Oh, and there's a rad scorpion. Freaking rad scorpion. <gasps> oh my god, what the fuck is that? A Yao Guai? The fuck is that? God, what the hell is that? I haven't saved in forever. What the fuck was that? And yes, this is where I went to sleep. In the Galaxy News radio station. What the hell was that? Oh my god! I just kind of panicked and I didn't know what to do. Oh my Jesus. Oh my Jesus. Oh my Jesus. What the fuck was that? I really should have saved more. Jesus Christ. Okay, well. I have to cut off anyways, so I'll meet you guys back around where I was. So, see you guys.